this is kind of the problem of becoming a, kind of a hoarder. You become a little bit of a hoarder. Hi, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. I'm, I'm kind of in a rush this morning because I had a friend contact me and say that they are having a yard sale um, and she sent me a few pictures and they had a lot of vintage things for sale and asked if I wanted to come by. First of all, it's Monday, it's Columbus Day, so it's a different day to have a yard sale, so I'm hoping that I can get there and nobody has gotten the stuff that I had seen in the pictures that I wanted. So, I asked her if I could film while I was there and she said fine, so hopefully I can get some good stuff. I need, I need to increase my mood because as most of you know, we had to put my beloved Bella dog to sleep so I've been very very sad lately and um, it's been very hard so I need to get out and get back in the saddle and look for these vintage treasures to um, help mend my broken heart so hopefully we can find some good stuff today good but not yeah. these, these are home co I just like this kind of stuff. See, me too. Oh, I gotta zoom out. I do that all the time. Here, you wanna set it over there? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I like this. This little guy. I think he's a little rooster on a nest. Mm -hmm. So I like him too. Why I like these, I don't know, but I do. Does this stand pretty well? It does. It has nails in it where it was when they moved in here. It was mounted? It was mounted. I want it. Okay. <laughs> I might mount it in my house because I, you know I need shelves to put all my I have crap that I... I oh, yeah. Oh. So I may just start piles. <laughs> I have may no just idea start piles. I don't know, but I like it. It's unusual. I know. I'm so glad that you called. I needed this because I've been so sad. It's 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 hard. <laughs> My kids are gonna kill me though because they're not here. They are gonna kill me. You have, you'll have to bring them. <laughs> you need to bring them in the shop. I told to come and I see me. Why do I like this? This is so dumb. Isn't Probably because dumbest it's thing, different. The cutest thing ever, though. I thought, oh, that'd be so cute by the sink. Okay, I'm gonna get. I just, I like this stuff. There's no reason. That's a frightening thing. I hate clowns. I don't like clowns. But when you put cold, when you put hot water in it, his yeah. hat and his nose will. Hmm. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. But I don't like clowns, so I'm not getting it. I yeah. Victoria said, you better get rid of that. This says it's a set of three. Is that, no? Oh, it, it's not really a set. It's just, that's what my sister in law said. She said oh. it goes with those, but I don't know if it does or not. That's interesting. I thought it was really cool, but. She said, well, it goes with these the little coasters. I said, I don't think this is coaster. It's, Spa it's Spanish. No, these are like little, you hang them up on the wall. I don't think they go together. How much is this box here for these lights? Oh, you have them priced. There is not a price on it. You. I love the packaging. You That's. Tell me what you think. I think I just want the lights. Okay. They're twenty-five cents a piece, or. Okay. Is that uh, good? Yep. Okay. I love that. that I'm a. I'm a sucker for the packaging. Yeah. I kind of. I'm gonna get that too. Wait a second. Does it have a? This conditional. Yeah, it's scratched there. That's gonna that's gonna hurt it for me to resell it in the shop. Oh, I do like these mushrooms. Oh my gosh. I saw those. I love that. <laughs> yeah. 
haul. But man, glassware is so hard for me to sell. I have people coming in all the time wanting me to buy, you know, glassware dishes and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's pretty, this is also, it should be haul, Universal Cambridge Made in USA. Um, oh, they're little crockery bowls. I want to see the bottom. They, I know that they're Japan though, made in Japan. Gosh, those are cool. Mm -hmm. I like the color. Like little canisters. Yeah, I, I, those are four dollars. I do want those. I don't think I'm gonna get these though. Those are gonna be a harder sell for me. I have the electric one that you. Use. That's made in the USA. Okay, guys, I am leaving that sale and I got some really good stuff. The thing that's nice about these this sale is, um, you know, they're cleaning out a house and they really need to get rid of the stuff. And so there isn't really a lot of sentimental value to the things that they were selling. And um, so they were able, able to let things go. And they knew I was going to resell things. So, um, no, I appreciate that and I got some things that I'm going to sell and I got some things that I'm going to keep but the home itself was a really cool home um, they are and it's an elderly couple that live there and they are going to be moving into an assisted living facility the home is so cool it's a very mid-century ranch style I really needed this today and I told the girls at the sale too how much I appreciated them kind of getting me out of my funk a little bit because I've been I've just been sad I've just been sad and so I really needed this today it felt good it felt real good to get out and go in junking a little bit again so um, when I get home I will do a haul video I'm excited it felt really good I know I've said that before but it felt good guys it felt real good okay so I'm doing this haul out in my driveway um, because well it's a really nice day and uh, I actually have Mark inside taking a bunch of photographs and I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this stuff so this is kind of the problem of becoming a kind of a hoarder you become a little bit of a hoarder when you when you go and buy things at estate sales on a regular basis because you can't process things quick enough so I'm working on that. That is a that is a problem of mine that I am working on. I am really, 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 I'm trying my hardest not to be a hoarder, but it is kind of hard. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what I found. Now, I, I did have Mark come out and look at this first thing that I'm about to show you. And I thought it was really cool when I saw it and then I got it home and he's like, well, it's been dropped from like a three-story building. Let me show you. It is this Vol... Vol... What is this? Volnado? A Volnado fan. But look how cool that is. It was $2. But look, it's been dropped. And you probably can't tell. I mean, I couldn't tell when I picked it up. I just thought it was really cool. But yeah, it has some issues. We do have a fan guy. We have a fan guy that... Um, I mean, it, it doesn't... It doesn't even sit up so there's that but we do we have a fan guy who likes fans and he will probably want to buy I'm trying to get my tripod so you're not seeing the mess that's my garage okay so another thing that I picked up was and I don't know I didn't I didn't do comps on any of these things I'm just going kind of going with my gut and previous experience so I don't know how well this will do, but it is a, what was it at? Let me find the date. I did see the date. Yeah. 1996 Space Jam, Michael Jordan, Bugs Bunny. Um, so this is like when the, the movie first came out, the original Space Jam movie. And it's never been opened. So it's new in the package. It's quite dusty, but that's okay. I will get it cleaned up. But, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Michael Jordan Bugs Bunny with Hyper Lane Surfer. So, got that. And, 
I paid $50 for everything. So everything that I'm going to show you, I paid $50 for. I just kind of did a bundle thing. So there's that. I also got, this is a Tupperware steamer. And I have sold these before on Mercari. Let me let, tell you a little known secret. I have, well, a little, maybe not so known secret. My words are not making sense today. I'm going to try, try really hard to make more sense of what I'm saying and make it make sense. Anyway, um, a little known fact, maybe, is that vintage Tupperware does very well on Mercari. I have, that's typically where I sell my vintage Tupperware pieces, is on Mercari. Um, in fact, I think pretty much all of the Tupperware pieces that I have sold, I've sold on Mercari. This is still in the plastic. It is a steamer set. Probably from the early 2000s, 90s. I'm going to try to get this back in the plastic so it doesn't get dirty. But whew, that took me way longer than what it needed to. But this is steamer. It does well. I think I sold the last one for about $40 or so. So if I sell this, this may pay for almost everything that I bought today. So vintage Tupperware steamer. All right. The next thing I got is also vintage Tupperware and is this little harvest, no, it's not really harvest gold, it's like a marigold yellow uh, Tupperware container. And it is, it has all of the, I think it's a set of four canisters. It needs cleaned up, it's not brand new, it's been used before. So I will clean that this up and this should sell for about $20, $25 or so. So I got that. I also got this. This, I don't know. I need to do some research on this. Um, it is, it's this little stagecoach. Um, and, I'll take these tags off here. Here's the top. It's very pretty. It's made, it's that early plastic. It's not Bakelite, but it's just that really thin, early plastic. Um, it, it's, you know, kind of looks the same on each side. On the back, it is, I think it's in Spanish. Um, in Spain, Madrid. So I see Madrid there. So I don't know about this. I'm going to look this up and see. Um, I just was intrigued by it. So I don't know, but it is a vintage piece. Definitely. I can just tell by the way it's made. And at the top here, it's got these little birds and they're all in great condition. I don't see anything broken off. So I really like that. And I don't know much about it. I'll have to do a little bit more research on it. I also got this little, I love this stuff, this little Lucite turtle soap holder with the kind of the abalone shell rocks, shells on the inside. Uh, this is was made in, well, it just says soap or trinket dish, handmade but with abalone shells taken by divers from the ocean. Big tree park. Um, Stanford, Florida. These these were like souvenir pieces. So back in the day, you'd go to Florida on vacation and you would buy this in a souvenir store. Probably from the 60s, but I really like this stuff. So, little turtle. Abalone shell turtle. And I found me a fairy light I'm keeping. Um, I don't have a red one. This one is an Indiana glass, more than likely. It does have where the faded, it's like a flash painted. So it's not, it, it isn't in, right, the, the paint is starting to come off of it. But I thought it was very pretty. I don't have a red one. So I'm keeping this. I'm adding it to my fairy lamp collection. So got that. The next thing I got, well, okay. Some of the stuff was sitting outside. Um, she had pulled everything out for the yard sale and some of it she had inside. And so she let me go inside and take a peek and, um, some of this stuff, this is one of the things that I grabbed, um, that was on the inside of the house and it is this camel, the game. It's a card game. I, here it has these, um, these have never been opened. These little dice here. It's got cards the um 
the rules and the little score pad. And it has the cars. Here's these Joe's place. Remember when Camel, um, Joe Camel was their uh, little mascot guy. So it's from the 90s. I don't know. I didn't look up comps for these, but it intrigued me. So I will be. This Joe Camel stuff, There are there is a collector's market for it, believe it or not. So, we're just camel stuff in general. So, I got that. I'm trying to see if there's a date on it. 1992. So, what is vintage? That. I picked up this piece of Watt pottery. Probably for my mom if she wants it. But this is the apple. I believe it's apple blossom. Just this cute little stoneware pottery. It's marked USA. Uh, number 16. No chips or damage on it at all. So I like that. Hopefully she'll like it too. She collects those. The last couple pieces that I bought for her, she already had. So I don't know. I also picked up this sweet little bowl. This is just a little miniature um, stoneware bowl. It's got the pink and the blue lines there. Uh, this has no flaws on it whatsoever. I don't know if it's, it might be McCoy, it might be Shawnee, I don't know. It's not marked, but I liked it. These little miniature bowls people do, really do like. So I got that. I'm a sucker for pottery, so I, I tend to buy it whenever I can. Okay, I also picked up these fun little retro mugs, these little butterfly mugs. This I love the coloring on this one. It's the teal and pink and orange. This one's green and red and orange. I will sell them as a set. They're little footed vintage mugs. There's no damage on them at all. They are both marked Japan on the bottom. Okay. I also got this clear chicken on a nest. And it's painted. It's got the painted giblet. I know that's not what it's called. That's what I call it. The little thing down there. Um... But it's in great condition. It's cleaned, but there's no chips on it anywhere. These do well for me in the store, so in the shop. So I probably will put this in Wildflower. I also got these, I got some cool vintage Christmas things. These are two really cool little stockings. They say Noel. They're made out of a really thin um, felt. And they are marked Made in Japan. So there's the snowman here and this little girl here. She has a little bit of fading here on the side, but she's also marked made in Japan. And they have these weird rubber bands to hang them with. I don't know what that's all about, but I really liked those. She's supposed to be letting me know if she comes across any more Christmas things. I did get... This is a candle light. Um, it's Miller Lights. Like the beer. It's not Miller Light beer. Um, but I love these. This one, the bulbs are kind of janking around down here on the bottom. But it's just one. I, maybe I should open it up in this box. One of these little, like, candle lights. It does have the other three bulbs. I don't know if it works. But, you know, this is a vintage one. They sell these, you know, modern versions today. But look at the bulbs. I'll show you this one. The marking on the bulb itself is old. These bulbs themselves can be worth money. These are General Electric here. But some of these, just the bulbs the, alone are worth money. <sighs> okay, I'm sure this is enthralling. Me putting this... How many misties does it take to screw in a light bulb? But I liked that. Oh, that's why they weren't screwed in there. Misty, because they don't fit in the box. Good grief. So Miller Lights, like the beer, they were sold at McClellan's back in the day for $1.98. So, five candle light. But I also got more of them. These were 25 cents a piece. She had them marked 25 cents a piece. These are Paramount five light candle holders. Gleaming plastic. These were sold also sold. These were sold at McCrory's 
for $1.99 back in the day. But look at the graphics. Aren't those great graphics on there? Okay, so let's take this one out. I didn't even take them out of the box. Yeah, the bulbs, the bulbs are rolling down there in the bottom. But this one's really pretty. It has kind of the embossed plastic there. I love these. These will do well for me in the shop at Christmas time. I actually, I got three of these. So I got one, two, and three. Three of these Paramount five light candles, four quarter a piece. Then I also got, this one is made by Worldwide Decorative Lights. Oh, look. It says it was advertised in Life Magazine. I love that. Look at the pretty graphics on here. Five light candle holder made by Worldwide. Printed in the USA. So let's see. Let's open these up and see. I mean, they're all pretty much the same. They're all the same. The Paramount ones are a little bit more decorative here at the bottom, but they have the little candle drippings. They all have GE light bulbs, and the light bulbs are all still there. I also got another vintage Tupperware. This one just brings me back to my childhood. I don't know. My mom probably still has this, but it's just this little, not from the 80s, 70s, 80s Tupperware pitcher, the little push top thing. I do sell these for about $15 a piece or so. So got that. I'll wash it up and sell it online. I got a couple more of these little pot holders. Um, I just put several of them out at the shop. So these were 10 cents each. But I mean, there's prices on this stuff, but I did pay $50 for everything. And then this is, I don't think it's marked anywhere. And I think that it's supposed to have more with it, but it's just a little mushroom that you hang on the wall. Yeah, 10 cents on it. This will sell well online. I'm trying to separate the things that are going to be sold online. And then I picked these up. I think that they're just little pot holders, but I loved them. Yeah, they are little pot holders. They have some of them have the little um the little hooks to hang them. But they're just made like out of vintage material. Look at this one. This one's football. This one has football players on it. So it's just a black and white with a green trim. I just thought they were really pretty. Some of them don't have the little hangers on them anymore. Oh, this one's pretty too. This one's very Halloween. But they almost could be little coasters too. They could be coasters. So, so I got those. I like this stuff. And then I got this um, orange juice contain pitcher and a set of four glasses. I actually have customers coming into the store asking me if I have these. So these I'm definitely going to take. They are Anchor Hawking. I'll try to see if I can show you the, li the little anchor right there. That's Anchor Hawking. They're made in the USA. It's supposed to have a little, um, I don't know if it's orange or yellow, a little lid, a little plastic lid. It might actually be a clear lid, but it's plastic that goes on the top. But I like that it had all four glasses with them. And they actually threw this in too. This went with it. This is a new, new piece. It's Sal Salkin and Company Tropical Orange Flower Scented Candle. It's a new piece, but it's, it's pretty. There might be some resale value but it's it smells really good so i don't know they threw it in for free then these are not marked but i really like them i need to do a little bit more research on it but they're little canisters they're small canisters this is the biggest size they're nesting and they are ceramic you can see the crazing like a stoneware piece and then we have another one on the inside. And then another one on the inside. Ooh, they are marked. The smallest one is marked. 
Mar Marmom. Guys, they're made in Japan. I cannot read what that says. I'm just going to show it to you. I have came I have came across similar pieces like this before, but never with the lids, never complete. Now I don't know if there was maybe even a, a bigger one or a smaller one. Typically, the, most canisters do comes come in sets of four, but they're these are in excellent condition. The only the only condition issue is this one's a little discolored around the inside rim. But boy, they're pretty. They're made in Japan. They do nest. And they all have their little lids. There's the top. And they all stack in together. These were in the free box. This is a vintage 1995. Yeah. Pokemon. I don't know. My son collects Pokemon. So I got this for him. I have no idea who the, who po what Pokemon this is. Um, and then this is just a little Walt Disney World Resort Bendy Mickey Mouse. But it was in the free box. So I'm going to put that in a friend package to um, one of my friends. Now some of the things in this next box are a little bizarre. But I tend to like weird things. This is one of those things. It is a shell bird. Now... <laughs> I don't know. It has some sort of um, resin at the bottom where it was pieced together. But here's the, the head is one shell. You can see. And then the body is two shells that have been fused together. And then this nice little clam shell on the bottom. I just liked it. He's got both of his little eyeballs here. There's no chipping on it. It's a vintage piece. It's not marked. It's just a souvenir piece. But, man, I don't know. I liked it. All right, this next piece I got, and I'm keeping it because it's just a nostalgic piece for me. And it is just this really pretty coffee mug. It's a hand-thrown um, coffee mug. But it was made in Connor Prairie. And if you live in Indiana or you know of Indiana, you know that Connor Prairie is a magical place. Uh, this was sold uh, for $20 at one time. Uh, it's dated 2014. It says wood fire. But I love these hand-thrown coffee mugs. So I am keeping it. I love the glaze on it. This one's going in my mug collection. This was also in the, in the free uh, box. And it is this... Mickey Mouse soap dispenser, or it could be a lotion, lotion dispenser, I suppose. Um, it's in great condition. There's one itty bitty, actually, there's two itty bitty little doinks here. They're not chips, it's just like where the top layer of the paint has come off. But they are marked Disney Taiwan. So there's a little bit of age to it. These are, I, I do well with these. I'll sell these in the shop. Um, these are just little vintage measuring cups. This one's for wet ingredients because of the spout. This one's for dry ingredients like flour, sugar, because there's no um, spout. Very cute. Nice condition. Those will sell in the shop. Then I got another one of these little milk glass hen on a nest. It's in great condition too. It just needs cleaned up. She had 50 cents on it. And then I did get a couple more. Salt have this. There's something in here. Um, these are those Joe Camel salt and pepper shakers from the 90s. This, these are dated 1993. So those will go on eBay. They were a dollar for the set. This actually may go to the mushroom. So I got the butterfly. Mm, I mean, those are different colors, but the butterfly is marked Universal Statuary, Chicago, Illinois, 1973. So I'll have to do some research that might go together. Leave me a comment if you think that these maybe go together. They kind of seem like they do. Okay, this is a really cool piece. This vintage Jergens lotion bottle. This is a really cool piece. It's milk glass, and it's embossed Jergens on the bottom. Hopefully you can see that. It's so hard to tell if you can see that because of the sun. You can kind of tell. 
really cool and it has i think this was made to go next to your kitchen sink it has um you know like vegetables and little cooking utensils and stuff on it so it's a really cool mid-century piece there these are an aluminum set of i believe salad forks or salad serving pieces they have the holly berries on the end they're not marked i will have to do a little bit of research on them they're so lightweight so i know that they're aluminum i just thought that they were very pretty and if there's no i mean if they're not worth a lot of money then i'm just going to keep them and use them myself then i also got this shaker it isn't you know the most cool one that i've ever seen before but i don't have any of these right now in the shop and um, i'm going to display it with some other barware that i have so and it has the recipe on there she had a dollar on that i also picked up these cool little it's a set of five of these little um metal lithograph coasters so there's a set of five i think they're all the same yeah she had a quarter on those but i loved those and then i also got this is i'm gonna have to do some research on this but it's it's a little naked lady sitting on a log but i think she's brass she feels brass to me um but there she is she's very pretty she's very somber but the cool thing about it it is marked giovanni showman 1977 so i don't know i didn't look this up i'm going to it's great that it's marked it's a beautiful piece of art artwork it does feel brass to me so this could be something pretty remarkable i liked her i think she's really neat i want to see if you can if you can see the maker's mark right there and the last thing that i got are these um vintage kitchen utensils this is a jar opener then we have a presto potato french fry maker i love this little funnel i thought this was i could really put some greenery and dress this up for christmas and then I like this pizza cutter. I don't see... Oh, my neighbors are looking at me like I'm out of my mind. Who is she talking to out in her driveway? Pulling all this junk out of her car. This is Stainless USA, but it's a pizza cutter. I don't see those very often. It's got the nice red wooden handle on it. Okay, so I'm going to have to get the stuff boxed back up. And then I will show you the last two big pieces that I found. Okay, the last two pieces that I got were this shelf, and this shelf was at one time was hung up on a wall. As you can see, there's a huge nail coming out, and I'm going to have to bleach it because it looks like there might be a little bit of mold to it, but I'm going to bleach, clean it, and then I am going to, I think, hang it on my wall so I can put, like, all my Santas there at Christmas time hanging up on the wall. So I'm going to scrub that out and probably paint it and uh, use it to display all my pretties on and i also got this is a very it's a mid-century fiberglass chair now there were two of them and one of them had sold so i was just able to get the one i'm also going to bleach it and clean it up a little bit too before i take it to the shop but i thought it was pretty cool okay guys so those were my treasures that i got today um i needed this today it felt good to get out and to hunt for things and to be able to like go in into a, a space and just look for things that felt good to me i like to do that and i think i did fine i that i paid fifty dollars for everything that i just showed you and um the one brass piece could be really pretty good um I did see one as I um, turned off the camera to film the bigger pieces of furniture I did find one exactly like it that was listed for I think three hundred and fifty dollars and it had three people watching it well now it has four people watching it because I'm watching it myself because I want to see if it sells what it sells for um, but that's kind of exciting yeah but i just wanted to give you a, a, a little view of what i bought so it was a good day my little heart is feeling a little bit more mended um after losing my girl you know life goes on i hope that you enjoyed this video and if you do i hope that you give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know what what your favorite thing was that I that I picked today. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I hope that you are you will like, share, comment, and subscribe my channel. And until next time, guys.
拜。Bye